Every four seconds, one person dies from using tobacco. That's eight million deaths every year. With every death, the tobacco industry must find a replacement consumer in order to keep their business alive. Tobacco and related industries are moving at a rapid speed to launch newer products, such as e-cigarettes and heated tobacco products, and prey on children and adolescents through deceptive marketing tactics. The products may be new, but for some, these tactics have been used for decades. WHO knows all too well that as long as the tobacco industry is thriving, lives will continue to be lost too soon. Across the globe, illness caused by all forms of tobacco use and the exposure to secondhand smoke threatens people's quality of life and their livelihoods. Tobacco is a key risk factor for heart disease, stroke, cancer, chronic respiratory conditions and diabetes. Diseases which lead to 15 million premature deaths every year. Smokers are also at higher risk of severe COVID-19 outcomes and death. The health, economic, social and environmental effects of the tobacco epidemic are devastating. But we are fighting back. The WHO Framework Convention on Tobacco Control was established to protect the health of current and future generations from the devastating effects of tobacco through a legally binding set of policies. WHO is working with partners across the globe to help countries implement the WHO FCTC on the ground. We do this by focusing on a subset of measures to help reduce the demand for tobacco, called Empower. Monitoring tobacco use and prevention policies. Protecting people from tobacco smoke. Offering help to quit tobacco use. Warning about the dangers of tobacco. Enforcing bans on tobacco advertising, promotion and sponsorship. And raising taxes on tobacco. More than 5 billion people are now protected by at least one of these measures at the highest level of achievement, ensuring healthy lives and promoting well-being for all ages. But this is not all. WHO continues to work within and outside the health sector to protect vulnerable populations and the environment. WHO also monitors industry tactics, policy progress and emergence of new products. Freedom from tobacco and nicotine makes for healthier societies, for healthier people, for generations to come. For more information, visit our website.